last week, I stated that we were working for peace, not only for this country, but to preserve the peace of Europe. Today, events move so rapidly that it is exceedingly difficult to state with technical accuracy the actual state of affairs, but it is clear that the peace of Europe cannot be preserved. Russia and Germany, at any rate, have declared war upon each other. First of all, let me say very shortly that we have consistently worked with a single mind, with all the earnestness in our power, to preserve peace. The House may be satisfied on that point. I would like the House to approach this crisis in which we are now from the point of view of British interests, British honour and British obligations, free from all passion as to why peace has not yet been preserved. The situation in the present crisis has originated in a dispute between Austria and Serbia. France are involved in it because of their obligation to honour under a definite alliance with Russia. That obligation of honor cannot apply in the same way to us 